The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface, and 50 to 80% of all life is found in its depths, according to scientific estimates. Scientists also estimate that humans have only explored about 10% of the world's ocean habitat. There, they've discovered more than 228,000 different unique species. But it's estimated that as many as 2 million more species exist in the ocean depths, yet to be discovered by humans. Among the species we have discovered, there is one fish that is truly ancient, often misunderstood, and as beautiful and diverse a species as any other on the planet. Sharks come in all shapes and sizes and inhabit all of the world's oceans, as well as many freshwater environments. Though sharks are an incredibly diverse species, most people think of the most dangerous species first, such as great whites, tiger sharks, or bull sharks. They are the species that attack humans the most. Certainly the thought of a shark silently hunting you as you swim at the surface is enough to inspire fear in most people, and that's enough to keep these species top of mind when talking about sharks. Many horror movies have capitalized on this idea to sensationalize the concept of murderous sharks lurking beneath the depths. This reinforces our image of sharks as dangerous predators that regularly attack humans. While shark attacks capture significant attention due to their sensational nature, the truth is that unprovoked shark attacks on humans are very rare. According to the International Shark Attack File, which is maintained by the Florida Museum of Natural History, there were an average of around 82 unprovoked shark attacks worldwide each year between 2011 and 2020. There was an average of 7.1 fatalities per year resulting from these attacks. This is very low when considering the amount of people who routinely intrude on sharks' territory during recreational water activities, such as swimming, surfing, or kayaking. True, sharks can be dangerous, and they do kill people every year. But the vast majority of shark species are harmless to humans and do not pose a threat. Most sharks are not interested in attacking humans and would rather avoid contact altogether. Even the most dangerous species of sharks pose almost zero risk as long as you don't enter their habitat. Almost all shark attacks are often the result of mistaken identity such as the shark thinking their victim is a prey animal. It could also be the result of simple curiosity, like a shark wondering what their victim is and nipping them to try to find out. Another factor could be territorial behavior. Some species of sharks can be extremely territorial and will resort to violence to defend their territory. With that out of the way, let's dispense with the idea of sharks as ravenous man-eaters and instead explore 10 cool facts about these incredible fish. Sharks have been around for a long, long time. Fossil evidence suggests that sharks have lived in Earth's oceans for more than 420 million years. This makes them older than dinosaurs, which are thought to have first emerged about 230 million years ago. Not only are sharks 190 million years older than dinosaurs, but they also have survived and thrived all the way to the present day. Thousands upon thousands of other species went extinct during that time, unable to adapt to the environmental changes and challenges throughout history. Early sharks were quite different from the ones that we are familiar with today. But all sharks, whether ancient or those that exist today, share one thing in common. They are true survivors, uniquely adapted to their specific habitats, and able to thrive regardless of the challenges they face. There are over 500 different species of sharks, ranging from the tiny dwarf lantern shark, which is about the size of a human hand, all the way to the massive whale shark, which is the largest fish in the world. It would take many hours for me to go over every species of shark, but here are a few that I find particularly interesting. Whale sharks are the largest fish in the world. These majestic creatures can reach impressive sizes. On average, adult whale sharks are typically between 12 to 18 meters, or 40 to 60 feet in length. However, there have been reports of whale sharks exceeding 20 meters, or 66 feet in length. Whale sharks are filter feeders, primarily consuming plankton, small fish, and other small organisms by swimming with their mouths open to filter food from the water. Whale sharks are found in warm, tropical, and subtropical oceans around the world. They are known for their gentle nature and are often sought after by ecotourists who want to snorkel or dive with these massive yet harmless creatures. The Great White is perhaps the most iconic shark, known for its powerful build and sharp teeth. Great Whites are supreme apex predators and are capable of breaching the water and flying over 10 feet in the air in a spectacular display while hunting seals. Great White Sharks are one of the largest predatory fish, with mature individuals reaching lengths of up to 20 feet or 6 meters. They are known for their distinctive appearance, with a robust, thick body, a conical snout, and a large triangular dorsal fin. The goblin shark has a unique appearance, with an elongated snout and jaws that can extend outward to catch prey. It's often referred to as a living fossil, due to its primitive and primordial features. 
Goblin sharks are known to inhabit deep sea environments, and they are typically found at depths ranging from about 200 meters, or 656 feet, down to over 1,200 meters, or 3,937 feet. Lantern sharks are small, bioluminescent sharks. They inhabit the deep ocean and have light-producing organs called photophores. They use these lights for communication and to camouflage themselves. Thresher sharks are another interesting species. They have an extremely long tail, and they're able to use their tail to smack fish. They can stun whole schools of fish before quickly feeding on them afterwards. Sharks have incredible sensory capabilities. They can detect electrical fields through special organs called the ampullae of Lorenzini, which helps them locate prey, even in complete darkness. The ampullae of Lorenzini are specialized electroreceptor organs found in the heads of cartilaginous fish, including sharks, rays, skates, and chimeras. These small jelly-filled pores are named after the 17th century Italian scientist Stefano Lorenzini, who first described them. Their primary function is to detect weak electric fields produced by living organisms. Many aquatic animals, including fish, generate electric fields as a result of muscle contractions and nerve impulses. The ampullae help sharks locate prey, even in complete darkness or when hidden in the sand. Sharks use their electroreceptive abilities not only for locating prey, but also for navigation, communication, and detecting changes in their environment. Some species, like the hammerhead shark, may have a higher density of ampullae of Lorenzini, enhancing their ability to detect electric fields. This crucial adaptation gives sharks a significant advantage in locating prey, especially in environments where visibility is limited. It is one of the many sensory adaptations that contribute to the predatory success of sharks in many different marine ecosystems. Some shark species are incredibly fast swimmers. The fastest shark is the shortfin mako. This species is known for its remarkable speed and agility in the water. Shortfin makos are capable of reaching speeds up to 60 miles per hour underwater. That's 97 kilometers an hour. That's the speed limit for cars on most American highways. Their streamlined bodies, powerful tails, and efficient swimming mechanisms contribute to their exceptional speed. Shortfin mako sharks are found in both offshore and deep oceanic waters and are known for their striking appearance, featuring a pointed snout and a crescent-shaped tail. Shortfin makos are formidable predators and are known to hunt fast-swimming prey, such as tuna and swordfish, which can reach similar speeds. Their impressive speed also helps them cover large distances in search of food or mates. Unfortunately, shortfin makos don't hold the record for fastest fish in the world. That record is held by the sailfish. Sailfish are capable of swimming up to 68 miles per hour, or 110 kilometers per hour. Because of this, makos have a harder time catching sailfish, but it still happens from time to time. Unlike most fish, sharks cannot stop swimming. They rely on a constant flow of water over their gills to extract oxygen from the water, and they have no way to fan water over their gills without moving. Because of this, sharks have to move 24-7. Sharks don't sleep the way that mammals do. Instead, sharks go through periods of rest or reduced activity. Sharks practice what is called bilateral rest, where they shut down one half of their brain at a time. This allows them to remain semi-conscious and maintain basic bodily functions while still being aware of their surroundings. The alternating rest periods for each hemisphere of the brain help sharks stay alert to potential threats and continue essential activities like swimming and respiration. This unique adaptation allows some species of sharks to be active and alert continuously, making them efficient predators in their respective environments 24 hours a day. If you're thinking about sneaking up on a sleeping shark, forget about it. Sharks do not have bones like mammals, reptiles, or birds. Instead, their skeletons are made of cartilage, which is the same flexible and tough tissue that forms the human nose and ears. This type of skeleton is known as a cartilaginous skeleton. The cartilaginous skeleton of sharks provides several advantages. It is lighter than a bony skeleton, allowing sharks to be more buoyant in the water. Additionally, cartilage is more flexible than bone, providing sharks with greater agility and maneuverability, which is essential for their predatory lifestyle. The jaws of sharks are also made of cartilage, and their teeth are typically embedded in the gum tissue rather than rooted in sockets, allowing for easy replacement as teeth are lost or damaged. If you've ever been lucky enough to touch a shark, you were probably surprised by its smooth appearance but rough texture. This roughness comes from tiny tooth-like structures on shark skin called dermal denticles. These dermal denticles point towards the tail and help reduce drag, allowing sharks to swim more efficiently and reach faster speeds. 
Shark skin is so efficient at reducing drag underwater that many companies have replicated the technology for multiple underwater applications. Some competition swimsuits use shark skin like technology to increase the swimmer's speed. Meanwhile, the highest tech naval submarines and torpedoes also use shark skin technology to make less sound underwater and improve speed and maneuverability. While some sharks have pointed teeth for gripping and tearing, others have flat molar-like teeth for crushing the shells of prey like crabs and mollusks. Great white sharks are known for their large serrated teeth. These teeth are adapted for cutting through the flesh of their prey, which includes seals and other marine mammals. The bite of a great white is also the strongest bite of any animal on earth. At 4,000 PSI, great white sharks can bite through thin steel plating and easily shred through any tissue or bone. While not a currently existing species, the megalodon was a prehistoric shark that lived millions of years ago and is believed to have had the largest teeth of any shark species. Fossilized megalodon teeth have been found, some measuring over 7 inches or 18 centimeters in length. While many sharks have these shredding and cutting type teeth, just as many lack these sharp teeth in exchange for teeth better at crushing things. For example, the zebra shark has molar-like teeth in the back of its mouth which are adapted for crushing the shells of crustaceans and mollusks. Angel sharks have flattened bodies and are adapted for life on the seafloor. They have blunt molar-like teeth that are suited for crushing the shells of crustaceans and other shelly prey. It's important to note that the size and shape of teeth can vary within a species, and factors like the age and sex of the shark can influence tooth characteristics. Sharks continuously replace their teeth throughout their lives, with new teeth growing in and replacing older ones that may have become damaged or worn. Certain shark species undertake long-distance migrations. One remarkable example of a long-distance migration was by a female great white shark named Nicole. Nicole was tagged off the coast of South Africa in 2003 by the marine research organization OSEARCH. Over the course of about nine months, Nicole traveled an extraordinary distance, making a trans-oceanic migration across the entire width of the Atlantic Ocean. She crossed from the coast of South Africa to the coast of Australia, covering an estimated distance of around 12,400 miles or 20,000 kilometers. This migration provided valuable insights into the behavior of great white sharks and highlighted the impressive navigational abilities and long distance movements of these apex predators. Some female sharks are capable of producing viable offspring even without mating with a male shark. This is a phenomenon known as parthenogenesis. In 2008, a black tip shark at the Virginia Aquarium gave birth to shark pups without mating with a male shark. In 2017, a zebra shark named Leone, living in an Australian aquarium, produced three offspring through parthenogenesis, despite being separated from males for several years. In these cases, the female's eggs develop into embryos without fertilization from a male at all. Parthenogenesis in sharks is thought to occur more commonly in captivity than in the wild. However, it's important to note that not all female sharks of these species reproduce in this way and sexual reproduction with males remains the primary mode of reproduction for most shark species. Parthenogenesis can be an adaptive strategy when females are isolated from males or under certain environmental survival conditions. Without a doubt though, this extremely rare ability has contributed to helping sharks survive and thrive for the past 420 million years. If you'd like to support shark research and conservation, there are many organizations to turn to. Check the video description for a full list of all the amazing organizations helping sharks in the wild. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment what animal you'd like us to feature next. See you in the next video.